Okay, so I guess I'm just on a B-Stars kick tonight. <laughs> it's like 3 in the morning, but we're going to keep going until we get tired. I can't seem to put it down, so... Yeah, I spent all day reading Fire Punch, but... You know, this is much more palatable and pleasant to get through, so this is... I like this, so let's just keep going. Alright, so... Let's see. We have Legosi here. He's eating a uh, rice cake? Rice ball? Something like that. Stomach's growling. He didn't get enough to eat. He is struggling to see the value of living independently. Boy, do I miss eating lunch in the cafeteria. Independent life is depriving me of food. Lost a ton of weight. Oof. Man, I've been, uh, <laughs> been there, Legosi. Like, there was a, man, it sucks, but there was a time, like, where even I had to decide, like, what did I want to do? Like, did I want to, like, it was, it was deciding between eating <laughs> or, or having enough, like, money to pay for fuel. Like, yeah, maybe these are the decisions. Hmm. I'm trying to take this chapter and just this this just this first page. I don't know. Tough times, man. Sometimes you don't get enough to eat. Sometimes you just you know, get get whatever you can that's edible into your system just so you can keep going. It'd be like that sometimes, but anyway. Here's the small uh kakayudon you ordered. Be careful, though, it's hot. Gotta crotch as low as I can for the small animal customers. Look at me. Do you think I want a medium size? Don't take herbivores lightly. I'm sorry, I'll get you a large one. Hmm. I thought uh, rhinos were carnivore. Or am I thinking a hippo? Hippos, wait, hippos are herbivore, too. Or at least I think they are. Anyway. Gotta treat all species well. Oh, you can stay like that? Uh, just use the straw. All the customers will. Interesting. Not <laughs> bad. As best I can. Oh, he's having trouble. <laughs> we, we have an order for one large uh, soft boiled egg. Make it cold. He's getting... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, because I'm starting to understand now. So, Lego C... Originally, he was um he was working in the back, but now they have him up front. Okay, so if you've ever had a job waiting uh waiting tables or just being a waiter or, or a server in general, um it gets like especially if it's like your first time doing this, it gets really difficult to keep track of like people's orders, like who ordered what at what table, and he has to like hustle to be there on time to make sure people get their food, and he has to attend like the tables to make sure oh. Uh, you know, top them off on water and make sure they're taken care of. It's, it can be a lot. <laughs> Restaurant business is actually pretty... It can be pretty tough. Things these days are becoming more and more automated, so... But here, this isn't the case. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I'm glad he's working so hard. I knew he'd be better at being a waiter than a cook. His hat's uh, hiding his scar, too. It's hard to believe he's a teenager with how well he treats different species. Then again, he's training himself when it isn't even the busiest time of the. D he's training himself when it, is when it isn't even the biggest time of the day. Busiest time of the day. Yeah, small stuff, man. <laughs> uh, you must serve your own water. Lego, see. Oh, hello, boss. Hello, I have a brand new job for you. It's about time you deliver seafood. What? They have seafood? Wait, let me read that again. It's about time you deliver food to the, uh, food to the sea. Okay, I was about to say, what? A sea? I'm gonna dump food in a lake? You're going to deliver food to a sea creature. We call a sea creature a sea. Wait, I'm gonna deliver food to one of them? What does he... Interesting. What does he mean by one of them? 
Wait, wait, wait. So do they not have contact with like the ocean? Okay, because that was one of my questions before. Um, about if they if they eat like seafood or not. Um, so I'm guessing no. A sea. Oh, and I think I remember. Uh, Labascat, you um, you mentioned something about the earlier chapters, how they were. What was it? It was a class they were taking. It was like in the very first couple of chapters. I think it was like sea speak or something. So if they if they're gonna go communicate with the sea creature, I'm guessing that that that's their language. So that's a use for like sea speak, right? Hmm. You you mentioned something about that. Anyway, our motto for this rush, John, is we serve all animal species. I'll write the address for you. Just say that you're from Udon Noodle Shop. BBB and he'll know. What? But I have to know C speak, right? I can't do that. Wait, but he took a class. Or was he sleeping during that class? I forget. Hmm, didn't you come from the Cherryton School? That's a very high ranking school, isn't it? No, it's not. I mean, it is, but the core classes were pretty basic. You're the youngest out of all of us. You have to do all the jobs that we want you to. <laughs> you have to do all the jobs that we don't want to. Uh, that's more honest. Well, yeah, but... What is this? A boo... A boo 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 What the heck? That's C speak for I am from Udon Noodle Shop. BBB is here... BB is... <sighs> BBB is here is your order. Huh? Could you say that again? I need some paper. Okay, so you wrote it down. Okay. Experience is the best teacher. Deliver the order <laughs> your own way and come back without fail. He's getting mad. Note to self, don't ask your superiors too many questions. You'll make them angry. And he's practicing again. A boo boo bo bee. Bee 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 bee. Pen peck -o -pee. What? Oh, he's practicing. Okay shop that's cool all right so this is good this is good this is a way of expanding the world a very okay that's awesome so this is a very tangible way of expanding the world without having it feel like force of course lego c would get exposed to like a new area of the city because you know it's part of his job to deliver food so it's nice that we get to see more of it so it's just more world building and it's things coming full circle hmm those kinds of customers are always hard to deal with. Just be careful. I've never met a sea creature before, but I hear that they're a bunch of weirdos. My sea speak class was all about memorizing the vocabulary and grammar. It wasn't about practical use. What kind of animals are sea creatures? I bet I bet Jack knows sea speak. Jack is smart. <laughs> um. Oh, that's cool kind of animals or sea creatures it's so strange he's men never met them like he's mm, that's that's interesting to think about so I wonder what their policy all right so you know how meat is like you know outlawed I'm wondering what their policies are for like sea creatures if it's a big deal if like if like someone eats a sea creature. I wonder how that works. And what are sea creatures doing on land? Are they walking? Do they have, like, legs? I have a delivery for Basin 911. Uh, come right through this gate. It'll detect your belongings. That's a turtle, okay. Land creatures poaching sea creatures. Big surprise. I'm so nervous. Oh, let's see. Poaching secret. Oh, so is he reading? Oh, that's a newspaper. This turtle's reading. So he says land creatures are poaching sea creatures. Interesting. Oh, so they're they're literally underwater. Okay, cool. This looks cool. So they have like bells that they have to ring. Well, Legacy rings the bell, and that, I'm guessing that calls them up. Interesting. Basin 911. This is where Puerto Rico 
Cocos is at. Four Cocos. Okay, so he rings it. When I see him, I'll say, Pakra Pakra. That's C speak for hello. So here he comes. Huh. I wasn't expecting that, but okay. <laughs> it's like that fish off of, uh, what's it called? That game I used to play when I was a little younger. It was, um, uh, not Breath of the Wild. It was a Zelda game. Wind Waker, yeah. When you meet the whale or something. Yeah, it's a giant whale I think you meet in the, um, in the, in the cave. It reminded me of that. And I thought that was funny. He's wearing a, a jar on his head. Oh, it's like a, it's like a jar that SpongeBob and Patrick wear whenever he, Whenever uh, SpongeBob goes to see Sandy, I'm guessing it's the same concept here. Okay, that's cool. Uh, Pucker Pucker? I've only seen this on TV, so do they really wear gill helmets? WB blah 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 blah. Uh, I can't understand. Native speech? Oh no, um, I'm from Udon Noodle Restaurant, BBBB. Uh, you don't understand me, do you? Uh, udon, I brought you Udon. You ordered. I brought you order here. <laughs> hmm? Why is he. He went straight for his. Huh. He went straight for Legosi's uh, claws. So I'm wondering. So he still has the base instincts of a fish. Like, they're intelligent, I'm guessing. But they still have their base instinct, just like Legosi has his base instincts, and... Okay, so... It may be because of how he was moving his hands. He mistook it for, like, a worm or something, maybe. Uh, what is it, sir? Is he trying to poach me? <laughs> is he trying to drag him under? He's really strong. Who's this? Do not panic. The sea creature eats anything... The sea creature eats everything that moves. Interesting. Oh, so he's trying to eat them? Literally. Oh my. Who's this? Where'd he come from? I didn't even see him. See him right here? Who is this? He's... He's beautiful. So majestic. What is he, a seal? Or is he a sea lion? Looks like a seal. Sea lions have whiskers. And yes, he is a sea lion. He will be fine. He looks so. F he looks foreign. I don't know what it is. Look, just look at how his like he has his jacket draped over his like shoulders, right? I get. Mm, this. Uh, I'm getting European vibes. I don't know why. I know he's a. I know he's a, a seal or a sea lion or whatever. But I'm getting your like Europa, Europe vibes from this guy, just from his like style of dress. <laughs> you will be fine. Just mm, what's it? Mm, it? Reminds me of Brom from League of Legends, just a little bit. I don't know why that came to mind. Anyway, you will be fine. Just keep quiet until he lets go. Huh? A seal. I will be your interpreter. I will help you. Right, because seals are half aquatic. Thank goodness for... Oh, he is a seal. Okay. Thank goodness uh, for bilinguals. Isn't that the truth? Okay, so he's communicating with them. <laughs> he's just... And that's how he eats. And what's this? He left. Where'd those come from? Are those shells? Take these shells to the money changer to get money. Money changer? It is where you convert shells to money. Oh, that's how their system works. Okay, that's cool. Oh, yeah. I think I learned that from school. Thank you very much. You're a lifesaver. You're pretty good at Sea Speak. We are friendly neighbors. Hmm? Oh, is he's one of he's one of he's like OC's neighbor, so he lives in the same place. That's neat. Is it true? I am a spotted seal. My name is Zagwan. I live on the third floor. Huh? 
In the hidden condo? A neighbor? Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so we're, the world is opening up. The world is opening up now. So that's another perspective that Lo that Lego C can learn from. This is going to be so interesting. I like Zagwan. Zagwan, right? Zagwan. Yeah. This is going to be cool. <laughs> oh, it's so exciting. I wonder what he's going to bring to the table for Lego C. Because he's introduced for a reason. I have so many questions. This opened up a door for so many questions. But I'm not going to ask them here. I'm just going to... You know, just enjoy the ride and see where it, where it goes. Zagwan. Such a cool character. Anyway, this has been Chapter 108, uh, Caribbean Neighborhood. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you during Chapter 109. Bye now, and be good.